Mahatma Gandhi 20th century Indian nationalist leader Gandhi redirects here. For other uses, see Gandhi disambiguation. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi the 2nd of October 1869 to the 30th of January 1948 was an Indian lawyer, anti-colonial nationalist and political ethicist who employed non-violent resistance to lead the successful campaign for India's independence from British rule and in turn inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world. The honorific Mahatma Sanskrit great soul venerable first applied to him in 1914 in South Africa is now used throughout the world. Quick facts Mahatma Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi born Born and raised in a Hindu family in coastal Gujarat, western India, Gandhi trained in law at the Inner Temple, London, and was called to the bar at age 22 in June 1891. After two uncertain years in India, where he was unable to start a successful law practice, he moved to South Africa in 1893 to represent an Indian merchant in a lawsuit. He went on to live in South Africa for 21 years. It was in South Africa that Gandhi raised a family and first employed non-violent resistance in a campaign for civil rights. In 1915, aged 45, he returned to India. He set about organizing peasants, farmers and urban laborers to protest against excessive land tax and discrimination. Assuming leadership of the Indian National Congress in 1921, Gandhi led nationwide campaigns for easing poverty, expanding women's rights, building religious and ethnic amity, ending untouchability, and above all for achieving Swaraj or self-rule. The same year Gandhi adopted the Indian loincloth or short dhoti and, in the winter, a shawl, both woven with yarn handspun on a traditional Indian spinning wheel, or charka, as a mark of identification with India's rural poor. Thereafter, he lived modestly in a self-sufficient residential community, ate simple vegetarian food, and undertook long fasts as a means of self-purification and political protest. Bringing anti-colonial nationalism to the common Indians, Gandhi led them in challenging the British-imposed salt tax with the 400 kilometers 250 miles Dandy Salt March in 1930, and later in calling for the British to quit India in 1942. He was in prison for many years, upon many occasions, in both South Africa and India. Gandhi's vision of an independent India based on religious pluralism was challenged in the early 1940s by a new Muslim nationalism which was demanding a separate Muslim homeland carved out of India. In August 1947, Britain granted independence, but the British Indian Empire was partitioned into two dominions, a Hindu-majority India and Muslim-majority Pakistan. As many displaced Hindus, Muslims, and Sikhs made their way to their new lands. Religious violence broke out, especially in the Punjab and Bengal. Eschewing the official celebration of independence in Delhi, Gandhi visited the affected areas, attempting to provide solace. In the months following, he undertook several fasts unto death to stop religious violence. To the last of these, undertaken on the 12th of January 1948 when he was 78, also had the indirect goal of pressuring India to pay out some cash assets owed to Pakistan. Some Indians thought Gandhi was too accommodating. Among them was Nathram Godse, a Hindu nationalist, who assassinated Gandhi on the 30th of January 1948 by firing three bullets into his chest. Gandhi's birthday, the 2nd of October, considered the father of the nation in India and was commonly called Babu Gujarati and Dearmont for Father Papa.